Good morning guys. I've taken the last few days off. The weather's been pretty bad. Uh, we did make it out yesterday afternoon on the slopes but it was chucking it with rain and I couldn't really get the camera out. But we are heading out this afternoon. Um, well, late morning, early afternoon. Some of the others went out very early. Um, but I just didn't sleep well last night so I thought I'd just rest and you know, that's the big thing of this whole trip is just being able to rest and start the year off well. Anyway, I'm with um, Bridget, Steve and Raya and we're, we're gonna squad up today. I'm just gonna take it easy with these guys. Um, I think we need to get across there, that way. Um, apparently today is uh, five out of five uh, avalanche warning, which is super rare. And uh, I think it's gonna be all right on the piece, but anything off piece is super dangerous, so we're gonna be careful. I brought out a big selfie stick today to do some cool GoPro shots. Um, I've also got the GoPro Fusion, the 360 camera, but tomorrow is gonna be sunny, apparently. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take that out tomorrow. And we've actually extended our flights to leave later in the day so we can get a run in, in the morning. Oh, yeah, have to get up early tomorrow, I think. It's gonna be fun hanging out today, isn't it? Yeah. We haven't got to like ski together yet. Before we head down, we're getting some picturesque shots at the top of the mountain. This is really nice. It's a much clearer day today. You can see a lot. So guys, here's a little warning sign, avalanche hazard. Like I said earlier this morning, it was on a five. It's now dropped down to a, a three, which is good. But yeah, the, the five has not been, uh, not been cool. We stopped at the top of the mountain. We've just finished some lunch. We had some chips and soup. And um, I don't know if I've said, but each day the gondola closes at a certain time. I think like half four or something. So we're gonna try and make it down the mountain to be able to get the last gondola back up so we can get two more runs in, hopefully. Um, but it's been fun hanging out with these guys today. I think the girls have been doing really well considering they're beginners. I think, how many times have you been before? Well, I skied when I was really young, before I moved to the US, and then I think the last time I skied out was like 1999. Yeah. 99? So <laughs> yeah, so it's been 19 years, I guess. Wow. Um, yeah, so I'm basically a total beginner again. But well, this you're killing it. No, you're killing it. So Everything well. that he's filmed for you is on a totally new run, like super difficult for what we know. The run we do on here, we're super comfortable with, and yeah. we're like much better. Okay, so. okay. <laughs> Let's do it. And Steve's also killing it. You're getting those uh, that carving down well, bro. Learning, learning. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's hit it.
swim back to the chalet. Unfortunately, we didn't get one more run in, so we just had the, the last one just then. It was fun, it's nice. It's cool just chilling with these guys. It's hot tub time. Hot tub and coffee. the hot tub we're around the dinner table now last evening together oh. after dinner Dave Andy and Emily are heading off um, driving back to the UK we're all flying tomorrow but it's gonna be nice having one last meal together it's the last supper oh, <laughs> one of you will betray me <laughs> <laughs> guys should we do a little cheers yeah. Yeah, little cheersy cheers the final cheers. This probably this probably isn't the final cheers. 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 Oh, cheers. Oh, Emily. Oh, cheers. Got it. Got it. All right. What were you saying, Dave? Just a best moment of the trip. It would be nice to hear, wouldn't it? A few of the best moments from the trip. First thing that comes to your head. I think mine was you doing a front flip, not once but twice, to, <laughs> by accident. Yeah, I was going to say for clarity, I didn't land there. Yeah. I landed on my face. <laughs> a front flip onto your face. That was good though. I, I said we, we spoke about it, and I think my favourite was actually last night at the top of the slope when we had the beers, and and everyone kept filtering in. Mm. And then the music was playing UB40. It was like cool tunes. And then there was a nice French guy behind the bar. And everybody, the thing I loved the most was... They gave us a free beer, didn't they? Yes. yes. And what I loved the most was everybody was buying everybody else everything. Like every time somebody else added in, somebody else looked after them. And we all, I uh, felt like we just had a good community going. Yeah, yeah generosity. And then we just rinsed it down there <laughs> as well, which was great. New Year's Eve on the dance floor. Yeah. Oh. Oh, DJ, yes. something else. Oh. That was a great DJ moment. That was a great moment. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Dave fell in love with the We DJ. both fell in yeah. love with her. <laughs> she fell <got> my heart. <laughs> I think the food needs to mention the pigeon Ooh. started oh, yeah. last night. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah, yes. yeah. An applause for the food. We haven't been showing you all the food, but it's all been incredible. I think some of the best meals we've ever had. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. and it's going to be tough to come downstairs and have to make your own breakfast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, just the hot tub's been incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Moments in the hot tub. I think we were saying it's on the really first cool. night, being in the hot tub creates that environment where you've got your put your phone away. You're not in, you're not thinking about anything. You're just relaxing, and it creates an open space for good, mm. good chats. So yeah, mm. hot tub's been great, and mm. jumping in the snow as well. Oh, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that was, yeah. that was fun. Yeah. I wouldn't normally do that, yeah. but I, I loved it. Who yeah. had first this first, weekend? Yeah. This week? First time skiing. Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah. 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 I don't think you'd be able to tell, honestly. Like it was, oh, you were killing so, it today. Yeah. 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 Mm. Same as Steve, same as Steve. First time snowboarding. Never done it before. First time to do. This is, I've got a this is delectable cubes of delight. Mm. Is that sushi? It's, it's kind of sushi, isn't it? It looks like sashimi, basically. Yeah. With cucumber and some cheeky sauces. Can you tell us what, what's for dinner? Yeah, so for Louis we have a braised carrot puree with purple sprouting broccoli and a celeriac fondant with a balsamic dressing. Check this out. And what about the... The meat eaters. So the meat eaters are all having a butternut squash puree, mashed potatoes, also the purple sprouting broccoli, and a lovely braised cheek of beef Ooh, with a delicious. red wine sauce. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Incredible Thanks, food. Incredible. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Right. The dessert has just been served. Holy moly. Mm. Dave, how would you describe your dessert? Holy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are playing old retro games. We found some website we can do like Road Sega Rash. Mega Drive emulators. This is amazing. Kick him, Steve. What's yeah. this punch? Kick him. Oh, you punched me, bro. The music is just so good. Mate, I forgot I was really good. Yeah. <laughs> so Andy, Dave, and Emily have headed off. Um, most of the guys have got an earlier night tonight because tomorrow is our last day and we're going to be heading out early. I think we've decided to head out at, I think, half eight from here. 
which is like two or three hours earlier than I have been, maybe three hours earlier. Um, but I want to make the most of the last morning. Um, I've just come into our little cabin. I don't know if I've shown you this, guys. This is the little cabin outside the main house that me and Raya have been staying in. Uh, I think I've shown you from the outside. The hot tub is literally right here um, with a view of the mountain. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it looks so cool. And uh, yeah, and there's the main house. But anyway, it's almost bedtime. We're just packing our stuff, I'm trying to get some of my editing done. It's quite hard to get editing done when you're in a big group of people. But something I've realized this week is this is more like how I want to live full time, like with friends in a bigger community, um, maybe a bit more kind of or various um, living room areas and spaces to kind of spread it out a bit more. But I love this idea of not just living like this when you're on holiday together, but um, yeah, more of a, a permanent kind of lifestyle of of uh, living with friends. So that's the that's the plan at some stage, and maybe like I've said numerous times, kind of going from different bases around the world. But I love the idea of these little communities. So um, yeah, I've been chatting quite a bit, especially with Dave, who's doing some experiments and has been with kind of community and what that looks like in uh, in the digital age and global communities and stuff. Lots of uh, lots of very interesting things to think about. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get some sleep. I'll catch you guys in the morning for our last day in the Alps, and then back back to the UK for a little bit. Peace out. Enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.